This is Chivalry, Honor, and Love, a piece that was originally written when I was Bard of the Mists uh, at, for presentation at the invocation of the lists of uh, the Mists coronet that Richard of Aldertree and Anastasia of Warwick ended up winning. Let me win roses to twine in your hair, a scepter to place in your hand. You are the one I delight in the most, my lady of all in the land, my lady of all in the land. The grace of a sibling, the strength of a friend, the love that a consort may bring, measures intention more forceful than blows, and honor above everything, and honor above everything. Lady, thy favor so fires my heart, thy countenance doth me inspire. I will accomplish whatever thou wilt, thy happiness all my desire, thy happiness all my desire. My will is thy honor displayed before all, and courtesy chivalry's pride. Art in thy action and joy in thy glance, and a place at the end by thy side, and a place at the end by thy side. My sword to thy service, my skill to thy grace, that delight in the midst of the fray. Temper with mercy my skill and my speed, thy presence my strength and my stay, thy presence my strength and my stay. My portion is stillness, attention and hope, to watch and to wait and to ward. Solace in silence, a soccer in mirth, the honor you do my reward. The honor you do my reward. <coughs> no greater favor could any receive, no striving show brighter or prove. Fair I now forth with thy work on my sleeve, for chivalry, honor, and love, for chivalry, honor, and love. Salute then the sovereign, the crown, and estate, thy worthy opponent and me. Though summer and winter may pass and return, Thy lady I always shall be, thy lady I always shall be. I will win roses to twine in your hair, a scepter to place in your hand. For all you have gifted me this small return, my princess you'll be in this land. My princess, you'll be in this land.